In this video, we're going to implement matrix subtraction in C, where we're going to represent matrices with 2D arrays. Now for matrix subtraction to work, the matrices have to have the same dimensions. So the first thing we're going to do is define two constants for the number of rows and the number of columns in our matrices. And we'll declare two 2D arrays to represent our two matrices that are going to be involved in our subtraction operation. So we'll say here in A rows calls, and we'll make A a 2D array with three rows and four columns. And I'm just gonna put all twos in it to keep things a bit simple here. I'll copy and paste A to make B, and B is gonna be the other operand, and B is just gonna be filled with ones. And it's also gonna be a three row, four column 2D array that's representing a matrix. We'll also have to make one more 2D array to store our result. So here I'll say int C rows calls, and the result of our matrix subtraction operation is gonna be stored into C. So I'll actually create a function to carry out matrix subtraction. Just that way we could use the function multiple times if need be. So here I'll say void matrix subtraction, and we'll have it have an argument A that's gonna be a 2D array with this number of rows and columns, another argument B with this number of rows and columns, and a third argument C with this number of rows and columns. And then we'll provide a definition of the function down here. So the way matrix subtraction works is we're gonna take each element at a particular position in A, and we're gonna subtract it by the element in B at the same position. And we're gonna store the result into C at that same position. So basically we would take this element here, subtract it by this element here, and store the result into C at that same position in the 2D array. And we would do that for all the elements in the array. So what we'll do is make a loop nested inside another loop. And the outer loop is gonna have a counter variable i that's gonna start at zero, and it's gonna be incremented until it reaches the number of rows in our 2D array. The inner loop is gonna have a counter variable j that's gonna start at zero, and it's gonna be incremented until it reaches the number of columns in our 2D array. So in this way, we'll be having J increment from zero to the number of columns in our 2D array, and we'll be doing that for all the rows in our 2D array. So in other words, whatever we put in here in the body of this inner for loop is gonna be done for all the elements of these 2D arrays if I index them like this. If I say here C, i j is equal to a i j minus b i j. So because i and j in the body of this for loop are ultimately going to take on all the values of the indexes in our 2D arrays, this operation here is going to happen for all positions in our 2D arrays. And we're going to take what's in a at each position, subtract it by what's in b at each position, and store the result into C at that position. So we could actually test out this function now. Here we'll call matrix subtraction, and we're gonna give it as arguments A, B, and C. So we'll say A, B, and C. Now the result will be stored into C. We'd have to print it out to actually see it though. So I'll actually make another sort of nested loop structure here with a loop inside of a loop to go over all of the elements in C and print them out. So we'll say here for int j is equal to zero, j is less than calls, j plus plus. And we have a loop structure here that's basically the same as down here. The only difference is this time, we're gonna print out each element in C. So we'll say printf percent d space, we'll output each element at position c i j and c. And here I'm gonna print f a new line. Cause what's going on here is this inner loop here is gonna output all the values at a particular row in C. And after we've done that, I'm gonna print out a new line character. So that way the next row in C prints out on a new line and we get the sort of 2D matrix look. So I'll save this here and run it. And what we should get, given that we have this array A here with all twos and the array B with all ones, we should get that C is made up of all ones because two minus one is one of course. And we do, we get a 2D matrix with all ones, and that's our matrix C, that is the correct result. And so we've written a function in C that can do matrix subtraction. 
Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.